Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Recently, I have started using Tailwind CSS into my projects. And here are the five reasons why you should use Tailwind CSS into your next project over traditional CSS, allowing you for a faster development and more maintainable code. So make sure you watch till the end. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. All right, guys. So the first reason to use Tailwind CSS into your project is the utility first approach. And Tailwind CSS promotes a utility first approach where you just have to apply small and single purpose utility classes directly to the HTML elements. And this actually eliminates the need to write custom CSS rules for every styling requirement. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So here you will see that I have a project which is a React project. I have bootstrapped the project using Vite, and then I have already installed Tailwind CSS into the project. So I have a Tailwind config file here. Now in the app.jsx, you will see that we have a simple two buttons. One button I'm going to style using the traditional CSS, other one will be using the Tailwind CSS. So for the traditional one, I have given a class name, which is the button primary. Now you will see here that we have the two buttons. Now for the CSS part, if I go to the app.css, then you will see that we have the CSS for button primary. And if I save it, then you will see that this is how our button looks like. If I hover on it, then it will change the color. And for to get this button, we have to apply this kind of a CSS on this button. Now, if you want to create another button and we have a little bit different CSS to it, then we have to repeat ourselves again and again for the CSS properties. Now, let's see how we can do the same thing in the Tailwind CSS. So I will go here and we will just apply the utility classes here. So now if I want to give a background to the button, I can simply use a utility class of a background and that will get me the background. If we want the text to be in a white color, then we can just use the text white. If we want some padding, then we can use the px. If we want padding on y-axis, we can use py. We can have the margin. We can have our rounded corners. So we can use the rounded corner md. And if we want to do something on a hover, then in that case, we can simply have a hover and then we can have colon. And now we can just change the background color. So I will have the background color as late 400. And then on the hover, if I want to change the text, I can change the text to black. So that's how it will become. So now if I want to apply this class what I have to do is I will go to index.css and I apply this utility classes and you will see here that now we have this tailwind button with a very similar approach so that's how you apply the utility classes on your html directly so that you can get the css the second reason for using tailwind css is the responsive design so for the responsive designs tailwind promotes built-in support for creating responsive designs using responsive utility classes and we can apply different styles based on the screen size breakpoints using prefix like sm for smaller device md for medium large and extra large let's see with the help let's understand this with the help of example now in this example you can see that we have a h1 which is responsive design and then we have a div which is a container and then we have three divs inside that which is a left section main section and the right section now if we go and see it on the browser it will look something like this now if we want to make these div responsive then we need to apply the breakpoints so if i go to the css then here you will see that we have a couple of breakpoints for smaller device for medium device, for large device, and for the largest device. But you can just avoid all this stuff by using the responsive utility classes of Tailwind CSS. Now, if I go here and if I check and see the responsiveness, so if I go and see here, then you will see that based on the responsiveness of the devices, the divs gets changed automatically. And this all is happening because of our media breakpoints. But now let's see how we can do it in the Tailwind CSS. So I will go to the JSX. I will just comment this out. And now I will We'll just on comment this out this is the piece of block which is using the tailwind css to achieve the same effect all right so we have a similar we have a main div and then we have three different divs inside the main div with the left section main section and the right section let's remove this hidden class first so that we will see our divs all right so now if we go and refresh it then we will see our divs so if i make it smaller then you will see that our sections get changed automatically they change the sizes according to what we have given it in our utility classes so for the last devices i want to make it block medium block and for the last devices we want to change the width to 60 50 and 40 so that's how it becomes easy to make responsive designs using tailwind css now the third reason which i want to show you is the customization so tailwind allows for easy customization for design tokens such as colors spacing typography 
breakpoints through the Tailwind config.js file. And this flexibility enables Tailwind CSS to adapt various designs and branding guidelines. Now let's see how we can do the customization with the help of an example. So I will go back to the Visual Studio code and here we can do customization with the Tailwind config file. So here you will see that we have a theme and inside the theme we can just define our own breakpoints if we want. So let's have a screen here. So I will just copy and paste and this is how you can just define your breakpoints. Now as soon as you have an access here then you will be able to use the access into your utility classes so if i go here and if i apply an xs here so let me have the access now you will see that we have the extra small device and we can just apply the css here the other customization is if you want to apply any random value so let's say i want to apply a padding as as 1 10 and for those padding what you can do is if you want to just apply a random value you can simply use a brackets here and you can just give a 5 pixel and that's how you can just apply a custom value here now the third thing you can also do a customization so if I go to Tailwind config again and if I want to have some customized colors then you can just define your colors here if you want to have a font size or font family you can define your font family here now let's say if you want to give a div a background image so what you can do is you can simply use a extend here and let's have a background image here so I'm going to have the background image and on this background image what you can do is you can just name anything so I will have a name as banner and I'm going to give a URL here so we are going to have the URL and in this URL what I will do is I'm going to give the path so I will have the dot slash source assets and then from the assets I want to use background.jpg so this is how you can just add a background image now if you want to use this background image you can just go here and here what you can do is instead of the background gray I will use the background as as banner and you will see that we have a banner here so that's way you can also give the background image so that's the level of customization Tailwind CSS offers to us the next reason of using Tailwind CSS is the dark mode support so I really love the dark mode support how easily you can build this dark mode support as Tailwind provides utilities for quickly implementing dark mode into your web application you can apply dark mode styles by using the dark variant with the utility classes. Let's see an example how we can do that. So I will go here and here what we will see that we have a simple uh, JSX here. We have some classes. So this class will be applicable when we have a light mode and this will get activated when we have a dark mode. And if we go and check, then we will see that we have this in a light mode. Now let's see how we can change this to into dark mode. So it's very easy. What we have to do is we will first go to the config and inside the config, I will use a dark mode. And here I will use the dark mode as media because I'm going to toggle the dark mode via media. You can also apply a class here if you want to have it via class and you can see the documentation in the Tailwind CSS. Now if we have a media here now in that case what we have to do is we have to use a media query to toggle it. So what I will do is we can simply add a media query. So I'm going to copy a media query and I'm going to put it here and here you will see that I have a light here. So this will take it as a light mode. So if I go here and if I refresh you will see that we have a light mode. Now let's change this to a dark mode. All right I will go here and now you will see that it got changed to a dark mode. Let's change back to a light mode and you will see that we have a light mode. So this one of the way which is using a media but you, if you want to have your manual switcher or manual button to toggle the light or a dark mode you can just change this and you can change this to maybe class or in the latest version you can also change this to selector. So you can just check the documentation and you will find it out. And the last reason which I like about Tailwind CSS is the optimized production build. So Tailwind CSS optimize the production build by removing the unwanted CSS styles resulting into a smaller file size and a faster loading time. And I will show you how we can do that. So let's go back to a Visual Studio code and I will open the terminal. All right. And in the terminal what I will do is first let's create a production build. So I'm going to use the end npm run build and this is going to create a production version so now here you will see that we have a css file which is 15 kb but now if we want to optimize it further what we can actually do is we can just use a purge css so i will show you how we can do that you will just see this uh, wheat package which is the wheat plugin tailwind purge css i'm just going to copy this and i will put it here and i will just install it so it will be installed quickly all right so we have already installed it now what we will do is we will just go into the wheat config file and we will make some changes so i will go to the wheat config and inside the wheat config let's import the purge css first so i will just import the purge css and now we can just make use of it so what i will do so we can 
just into the plugin we can just add our purge css so this will now remove all the unwanted css class names which we are not using now if i try it again then in that case you will see that we have a drastic change in the build size so now the build is done and you will see that now we have only 6.04 kb and here you will see that we had a 15.96 kb so that's how you can just reduce your build size while using tailwind css and it will ensure that only the necessary styles are included in the final css build improving your performance and reducing the bandwidth usage so overall tailwind css have several advantages over the normal css including its utility first approach or its a built-in support for responsive design easy customization dark mode support or optimized production builds and making it a very powerful tool for a modern web development so that was my take on the tailwind css for the projects now i leave it up to you let me know in the comment section what do you like about tailwind or what do you don't like about it so that's all i have in this video i hope you like the video a thumbs up is appreciated you can also connect with me via facebook or instagram you can follow me on twitter for latest updates and before you go don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one thank you thanks for watching